Hey, exploit users, as well as stream elements users, if you've been having issues with stream elements lately, like I have, and many of our other broadcasters at RGN, what we've noticed, and I've actually did a lot of testing was, is we thought it was the alerts. And then we thought it was the cap, and it was causing XSplit to crash. However, XSplit has randomly, you know, uh, in recent updates, added exactly what you need. So what I've got here is I'm going to show you just how to fix the issue. Where you can see the issue, you know, if you're using the Stream Elements new super overlays, they're awesome. But you see frame FPS drops randomly here and there. Or when your elements and your capas are going off, all over your screen, you know, here and there, and you got the explosions going off. You know, sometimes XSplit just plain crashes with no explanation. We do a debug, I've sent it in. We've been waiting weeks for XSplit to get back to us. However, just knowing the program, going through the program, and even if you're trying the, the recent public test release, the PTR, it already has the fix included. So here you go. Let's try it out. We're going to show you here on the other screen. We'll get rid of my cam. Now, here we go. So, what you notice is, you know, the going around the screen here, and I use this one because it's a good example. If I, if you were to stream for a long amount of time, you end up getting FPS loss. Right now, it's it's fine because this is right now, this is not the PTR. So what I'm gonna show you is that even if you don't want to use the public test release, there is a better way to integrate web URLs then by default you know you can go down here to, to add you can do your web page you can put your web page in sure that's fine and dandy however what you really need to do for these super themes and other stuff like the capagens so you don't have the loss of frames per second or eventually you know the web page starts blocking up until it seems like XSplit is just given out and it crashes just go ahead go to tools go to settings you go over here to advanced you will see this right here browser source special optimization if you read that it says the browser source special optimization which is disabled at the time but you actually have to restart your exploit that's the reason I'm using multiple computers because I stream for multiple anyways this option uses a special optimization for the capture of the pipeline of the HTML sources so it'll you'll capture from the HTML source at a higher grade and it'll be better looking overall however um, you know it goes both 30 and 60 frames per second so what we're going to do right this moment you know you can look at the JavaScript it it gives a uh, it gives better FPS for HTML sources that is 30 frames per second with an option of JavaScript with re request 60 frames per second there's a post you can click it try it out try it out for yourself Anyways, we're going to go ahead and we're going to, to start this. All right, with the new PTR, I can tell you right now, with the new PTR, you can actually go into the properties of the program, right-click it, and select 60 frames per second. So let's take a look at it. Let's see what we got. It's actually loading. So, you know, if you've been having issues, you've been having the same issues, which I've been having for weeks, you know, I'm a strong supporter of stream elements, the, you're getting fed up. So let's go this way. You know, you do an OBS. OBS may not have the pipeline as well. So you're, you're not going to see much difference at the moment. But what I'm going to show you is in what uh, XSplit is doing. Okay, right here on the PTR will be a checkbox where you can actually integrate and do 60 frames per second. On the normal release, you don't have it yet. However, it will be updated and it should be a part of the normal, uh, the normal information and everything. So here, give me just a moment. We will switch it over. And we're gonna close this down and we're gonna open up the public test release. So close. Here comes the public test release. You gotta give me a moment to make sure that the uh, the presentation that I want installed is. By the way, we are XSplit Elite. You know you can check with us. Come to uh, 
twitch.tv forward slash HD Legion TV, you can get discounts on anything you need from XSplit. Alright, so here we are. It's actually already updated and ready. If you pay close attention to a lot of these as they flick around, the smaller ones, it's, you know, it's very fluid. However, you know, I've already clicked the 60 frames per second. If I turn that off, they jump a little bit. It's not as smooth. So, you know, you will notice a difference. However, using this, I've streamed for the past few days um, the the Capogen, a lot of the other stuff, the alerts, just pretty much everything to do with the program has gotten better. You know, um, it runs better. It's not crashing all the time. You know, I'm sure if you're anything like me, you're doing the middle of the stream. Last thing you want to do is worry about the constant crashing. So, you know, some of these other overlays, if you look around the edge, obviously my green screen, you know, if you look around the edge right here, coming down here, it's very fluid. This is actually on the main broadcaster now. If I take that off, if I go to uh, my HTML and I remove the 60 frames per second and let everything restart, it's going to be a little bit jumpy. You can look at the fire moving around. It gets to be a little bit sporadic. But I tell you what, if you don't do the optimization over time, you'll see degradation. You will see that your graphics will... I mean, I got a good computer, and I know other people are having this issue. They're playing um, pub, you know, player known battlegrounds. They're having actually issues where the graphics in their game is starting to stutter. But taking care of this problem, because they're streaming from the same PC in which they play from, doing this stop the issue. They're they're not tweaking out in the middle of their game. I don't know why the broadcaster was having issues. It's not just XSplit. OBS is having issues too. It's just so much web URL. But you turn on the 60 frames per second, you turn on the optimization, and, you know, I could be wrong, but I haven't crashed in days since we did these changes. So, you guys, I don't know how, uh, how often you guys check these videos, but try it out. I hope it works for you, and take it easy. Later!